Hey guys, welcome back to another EDH video. This video we got me playing some Core Vault again, keeping an overground tomb, a game trail, Ragavan, Ramanap Excavator, Harrow, Food Chain, and a Rolling Reek. We got Tyler playing Taste of Karlov, keeping a Thriving Heath, Isolated Chap, Lantex, Ashnod's Altar, Dark Prophecy, Necrotic Hex, and Anointed Procession. I start us off in the play, I draw a card for turn. I play a game trail revealing a overground tomb. I then tap one and play a Ragavan. Pass the turn to Tyler. Tyler plays out a Thriving Heath, choosing black. He then passes to me. I play a Blood Crypt. I take two. I then swing Ragavan at him, exiling a Ministrant of Abrogation, creating a treasure. I then tap three, sacrificing the treasure to play a Raymond Amp Excavator. And pass to Tyler. Tyler plays his planes and then taps and plays a land tax. Passing to me. I draw a card for turn. Play an overgrown tomb, taking two. Swing the rag of Anna Tyler. He exiles a Doom Dissenter. I then create a treasure. I pass turn to Tyler and Tyler finds a swamp with his land tax. He then plays an isolated chapel and taps three and plays an Ashnod's altar. He then passes to me. I play command tower for turn and then swing Ragavan sideways again, exiling a scored barons, creating another treasure. Tapping out five to play Corvold. Sacrificing the Ramanap Excavator putting a counter on Corvold and drawing a card. I pass to Tyler, Tyler plays a Swamp, taps four, plays out Tesa, passes back to me. I play a Forest. I follow that up by playing a Spring Bloom Druid, sacrificing a Forest, drawing a card, putting a counter on Corvold and searching for two land cards. Putting them on the battlefield, I get a mountain and a swamp. I then follow that up with a harrow, which does the same thing, but puts them onto the battlefield untapped. I then swing with a Corvold and a Ragavan. I sacrifice the Ragavan to Corvold's trigger. Because I actually didn't mean to, to block with the Ragavan. Or attack with the Ragavan. I pass to Tyler. Tyler plays a Swamp. He then sacrifices his commander to Ashnod's Altar. He then plays a Necrotic Hex, making me sacrifice my board pretty much, creating six zombies. He passes to me. I play out Corvold. I sacrifice a land and I draw a card. I put a plus and plus on counter on Corvold. Pass to Tyler. He plays a Plains. He sacks a couple zombies to the, the Ashnod's Altar to play out Tesa. And plays a reassembling skeleton. Passes to me. I play a swamp for turn. And play out Rankle. And play a Roiling Regrowth. So I sacrifice a land and search two. And the swing Corvold. Tyler takes all the damage because we can't not block. Uh, then pass to him. He plays a Swamp for turn, then plays a Dark Prophecy. And swings five zombies at me. They all have lifelink. I block one. He gains ten life. I take eight. He loses two life from the Dark Prophecy and draws two cards because his taste of doubles that trigger. Then sacrifice the reassembling skeleton to the Ashnod's altar, drawing two cards and losing two life and getting two mana. Then sacrifices a zombie to the Ashnod altar, losing another two life, drawing another two cards, and getting another two mana. He then plays out a divine visitation. And then sacrifices another zombie. To get more mana. Oh, he sacrifices two zombies, gets four more mana, draws four more cards, and loses four more life. 
He then draws into an anointed procession, which means he can create doubles tokens. Then plays a doomed traveler. He then plays a lightning griefs. Fast to me, I play a necro blossom snarl. And then play a thrashing bronthodon, and I sacrifice thr thrashing bronthodon to destroy the divine vegetation. In response, Tyler sacrifices the thing to get a token. And since he created a token, he actually gets 4-4 four, four angels. Since it's a die trigger, he gets two of those. And since divine visitation is out, he actually gets four of them. So he gets four 4-4 four, four angels. I then full swing with my board. I also play a food chain. And then full swing and sacrifice the wrinkle to the core vulture. Past Tyler plays a he plays a cabal of coffers. He then swings his tokens at me. He triple blocks my Corvo and kills it, by the way. He then sacrifices a zombie, losing two more life, drawing two more cards, creating creating some more mana. And plays a reassembling skeleton from his graveyard. Because he just sacked it. He then plays a requiem angel. Then sacrifices the, the reassembling skeleton to the Ashnod's altar. Creating some white spirits. He then plays the reassembling skeleton from his graveyard again. He's, he's just going to do it a bunch. Creates more mana, draws two cards. And then, you know loses the life. He then taps the Cabal Coffers with two of the colorless mana. This is He says he's going to do it three more times with the three black he just created from Cabal Coffers. So he goes up to 20 spirits. He has a bunch more mana. He uses two of it to play Arcane Signet. He then plays a Skull Clamp. And then clips the Lightning Greaves to Tesa. On my turn, I play a Forboarding Ruins. And then play out Corvold. I then pretty much concede and say, yeah, I, there's no way I'm going to be able to block 20 one ones with Vigilance and, and Flying. And yeah, uh, Taste, is, Taste is pretty good. Um, it's probably a deck you guys haven't even seen on the channel. But it's it's pretty good. It's not like fully there, but he has, he's had it for a while and he hasn't really done anything to it, but it's it's still pretty good for what it is. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Comment down below if we messed up anything. We probably did. We probably always miss triggers. But yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace.